Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpacked Technologies. In this video, I'm continuing on in my What Happens If series, and this time we're going to see what happens if you remove the RAM from your computer while it is running. Now in my previous video, I showed what happens if you remove the mechanical hard drive or SSD from your computer while it is running, and today we're going to experiment with the RAM. So let's get straight into the experiment. So I do have a couple of predictions for this experiment and be sure to leave in the comments below what your predictions are about what will happen. But I think that either the whole computer will freeze and just get stuck on that maybe for 30 seconds to a minute before the computer crashes. And that is actually similar to what happened with the hard drive when we removed that while it was running and be sure to check that video out if you haven't seen that already. But um, with the RAM, it'll either freeze, I reckon, or it might completely crash and reboot. And hopefully it doesn't do anything too bad to the motherboard. Um, hopefully it just reboots normally back into Windows 10, but we'll just have to see what happens. So um, what I've got, I've got the view of the screen here, and as you can see, it's fully functional Windows 10. And just to show you, I'll open up settings and show you how much RAM is installed. Okay, so as you can see in settings, we can see that it has eight gigabytes of RAM installed. And today we're going to be removing two gigabytes. All right, so in the computer here, um, we've got four sticks of RAM making up eight gigabytes. So they're all two gigabyte sticks each. Um, hopefully you can see that okay. I'll have to open, um, pull up the DVD drive so I can access the RAM while it is running. And you can see here me removing the RAM. So you saw before we opened up settings, this is a fully functional copy of Windows 10. It's working fine right now, as you can see. So we'll just, um, we might leave the clock open so you can see if it freezes, the seconds hand should stop ticking. So we'll see what happens with that. So I'll just start removing slowly the um, two gigabyte stick of RAM and we'll see what happens to the computer. I'll just, all right, okay, all right, that happened really quickly there, okay, so, all right, it's trying to reboot, I have taken the stick of RAM out, as you can see, we just got two beeps from the computer, all right, and you can see here, um, that's come up with American Megatrends, which is the BIOS, and it's now saying that the memory size has decreased. So that was sort of expected, um, but we can see here that it says, press F1 to enter setup or F2 to resume. So if we click F2 now, the computer hopefully should reboot into Windows 10. So we can see that it is rebooting, but we definitely did remove one of the sticks. And just as a bit of a summary of what just happened there, I was removing that and it all happened really quickly. I hadn't even fully removed it from the slot, but obviously the connection with the pins um, got weak enough or not strong enough that it couldn't um, detect the RAM anymore. And the whole system pretty much glitched up really quickly and then crashed within like five seconds. So it definitely didn't last as long as it did with Windows 10. Uh, and it rebooted with the two beeps. So now, as you can see, um, the system is back up and I'll just sign in quickly. All right, so as you can see, we've rebooted back into Windows 10 and it is fully functional. So everything is working as it should, uh, even though we did remove one of those sticks of RAM. So we didn't corrupt anything, which is a good thing to see. So I'll just go into settings and I'll quickly show you the amount of RAM that it is showing right now. It should be six gigabytes or so because I removed the two gigabyte stick. 
from the eight gigabytes in total. So we'll, I'll just go into that page and quickly show you guys. All right, so we are into the settings page and you can see that the installed RAM is down to six gigabytes. So it has indeed lost the two gigabytes of RAM that I did remove and it has detected that. All right, so one last quick test we're gonna do with this RAM test is we're gonna see what happens if we reinstall the two gigabyte stick of RAM back into the computer while it's running. So um, what I'm gonna do is reopen the date and time so we can see the seconds hand again uh, to give us an idea if anything does freeze. And now I'm gonna bring the RAM back over and try to reinsert it. So we're just pushing it in now. All right, so we've just gotten it all go glitchy again. And just, what if I remove it? All right, so it's gone glitchy. Let me just um, try to push it in. There we go, fully installed. So the RAM is fully installed but the system has just gone super glitchy. So it's gone to all these graphical artifacts. And the interesting thing is, is that when I decreased the RAM, this was very short and then it rebooted because it crashed. Now it's just sort of stuck on this screen. So I might give it a few more seconds to see if anything major happens. Otherwise I'll force it off and we'll reboot it to see what happened. So the RAM is definitely fully installed into the machine and we're just sort of stuck on this screen. So what I'll do is I'll force it off and then we'll reboot it and see what it shows. So it's off now, we'll turn it back on and we'll see if everything is still working. All right, so we heard those two beeps. Uh, and it still says memory size decrease, interestingly, here. Um, so it's, maybe it didn't detect the new RAM or it might just be still showing the error from when I did it previously. And I might need to clear that out of the system logs. But we'll just click F2 to resume for now and see if Windows still works. All right, yep, so we've got the Windows 10 loading logo. So um, it's loading in, it looks like the... It's not corrupted or anything, which is good news. Um, I'll just put the DVD drive back down. So it looks like it seems to be working pretty well uh, and we haven't caused any permanent damage to the computer. The only thing you might have to do after this is maybe to clear the BIOS so the, um, otherwise it might beep every time you reboot it. Uh, so just make sure you clear the system logs and that should fix that beeping BIOS issue. All right, so we're back here. I'll just enter the password and it's on the welcome screen. So we'll just let it come in to make sure everything is working. And while we're waiting for it to load, some um, evaluations is that it was interesting how when we removed it the first time, it shut off very quickly. But then when we increased the RAM while it was running, uh, it took a lot longer and I actually had to force it off myself because it was just stuck on that graphical interface. So that's an interesting conclusion to draw. Another interesting thing is that it didn't cause any damage to the actual Windows operating system or the computer itself, except that you may need to clear the BIOS memory, which isn't that hard to do. And let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a tutorial on how to do that. But this was an interesting test. Let's just confirm that everything is working. So I'll open the start menu. Yep, you can see that the system is operating just fine. So um, that's an interesting test to see. And let me know in the comments below if there's any other experiments and tests you would like to see as a part of this What Happens If series. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.